What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So about every once in a decade, the Adobe After Effects developers get together and finally decide to stop dicking around and make an update worth the headache of downloading. And you know what guys, I think 2022 might just be the best version of After Effects out yet and we're gonna talk about it. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Now today's video is brought to you by Envato, but more on that exclusive offer later on in this video. Okay, so you just got After Effects. Maybe you even have a client that's like, yo, I need a brand new logo animation or some sort of commercial. And you're like, hmm, should I update? Is this gonna make my productivity any better going from 2021 to 2022? And I know if you guys have been following us in the past, I would have told you do not update if you found something working for you. Stick with it because Adobe is notorious for breaking their software with all sorts of updates. That's a huge setback for us who rely on the software daily. Now, of course, whenever you update Adobe software, you're gonna probably realize that most of your plugins or effects that you've had in the past will not transfer over. Sometimes they do, and that's really great, but other times they don't, and all of a sudden you have to reinstall a bunch of stuff, so fair warning that I want you guys to heed before you go ahead and download any software and install it. Just know that if you're relying on a specific plugin to work, there is a chance that it might not work. So far, a lot of the ones that I've been using from Envato, the template packs, those ones are porting over pretty well, letting me open them up without too much trouble in the conversion between Adobe 2020 or 2021 to 2022. So with all of that out the way, let's just hop into the main features of Adobe After Effects 2022, and that is the biggest improvements to rendering. I'm gonna hop right into the software. So here you can see I have a project pulled up, and this is actually a little Instagram story that we made for the channel. It's the Instagram Instagram version of our channel trailer. Now you're gonna see all of these uh, multicolored bars on because I had the original footage on a different drive and it's just showing up that it's not actually linked right now. But either way, I still think it looks kind of cool that we can at least see the text working and get a little bit under the hood into the project. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice is that so far everything looks just about the same, the UI from 2021 to 2022, except now we get a really cool feature down in the timeline, which is the brand new composition profiler feature. The way that you access it is just by going over here to columns and then going to render time. And what this is gonna do now is analyze every single layer in this composition and then tell me how long it's taking for my computer to render out that individual layer. So this may be a useful feature if you have a project with a whole bunch of layers like I do and you're noticing that sometimes some things are slowing down when it gets to a certain point. Now, the way that we can actually go through this before the way that we would have had to do this and troubleshoot it would be to turn off each layer individually or just have like this kind of clairvoyance about our project and how things work. Well, guess what? You can scrap away that old method because right here in the composition, After Effects is telling us exactly which layers are giving it some, some troubles and which ones are actually pretty easy for it to render. And I can actually just go through this timeline and keep scrubbing through and see like, dang, this uh, it looks like this DJI footage is the uh, the most troublesome one for it at the moment. And then I can even go through and see, okay, actually all these text layers are pretty nice and neat on the project and don't really add too much to the render time. So yeah, this is a really neat and handy feature that I love that After Effects added. I don't know why it took them so many years to do this, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> the next super cool feature of After Effects 2022 is the background rendering feature, which is now kind of just renamed to speculative rendering. I don't know if you guys have ever used the 2021 or 2020 versions of After Effects, but before you would get this nice blue outline on top of your timeline showing exactly where it was kind of sort of rendered and would render a little bit faster. Now we kind of just do away with that entirely. And if you step away from your computer, given a specific idle time, After Effects is then just gonna keep rendering your composition in the background. I think Final Cut Pro has had this pretty much since they came out with Final Cut X. And it's nice though that After Effects finally gets this uh, added to it as well. So this is gonna make the software a whole lot faster to use. But beyond that background rendering feature is an even more dope feature, which I think has to be the biggest improvement After Effects has done to rendering, and that is the introduction of multi-frame rendering. Now, I was a little bit skeptical because when Adobe reached out and was like, hey, we have this uh, 
new feature of multi-frame rendering. I was kind of like, uh, are, are you guys gonna break a bunch more features at the same time? Yet, surprisingly, when I actually opened up the project, cranked this out, I was noticing that the same projects from After Effects 20 and 2021 were rendering much, much slower than the ones in After Effects 2022. And the reason for that is that After Effects would just before progressively render each frame after another, but now it has where it can actually work on multiple frames at the same time, which is pretty nice. So if you have a, a pretty decent video card, it's gonna be able to use those additional features of your video card to help render, thus speeding up your workflow in regards to the, uh, the final exporting or rendering part of your project. So that feature alone has to be my favorite that After Effects 2022 introduces, just because it speeds up so much when it comes to rendering. Now, I know that they also added a little bit more to it as well, like they have this new render notifications feature, but honestly, I don't think I've ever needed a smartphone notification when my After Effects render is finished. That just seems a little bit too uh, too invasive and I gotta download the Creative Cloud app for that. So yeah, not really my cup of tea there. But hey, some people might like it if they wanna go ahead and render and then step away from their expensive computer for whatever reason and never come back to it again and need to be reminded by their phone. That, that's also cool. So aside from the newest features of After Effects, we gotta at least talk about some of the fixes that they've done. So on here, you can see there is a huge, huge list of fixes that they put. One really useful one that they've added, which prevents your computer from overriding existing renders without asking permission. They've also fixed another problem where After Effects would just completely crash whenever you were resetting the camera. Either Way, I kind of take these fixed lists with a grain of salt just because I've definitely seen problems show up before say it's fixed after updating and find that same problem there so it's more so just letting you know like hey After Effects knows this is going on and uh, maybe you know they'll, they'll have a workaround for it. From my own personal experience though I can say I haven't really run into too many instances of After Effects 2022 crashing. There was a first day release issue where there was some resolution issues between the UI but already I've seen that like fixed out pretty, pretty quickly. So I will warn though, I do still keep After Effects 2020 and 2021 installed just because I'm a little bit lazy about porting over all these plugins and installing them over again. However, when I do wanna hop into a project and a brand new one, I will for sure have FX Console and uh, some other really dope plugins, which if you guys are interested in learning more about plugins, we have a whole video on that. The best plugins to use for After Effects, hands down. So remember how I said that today's video was brought to you by Envato. It is the holiday season time and you guys, guess what we got? We got 70% off of signups for Envato Elements. If you guys have never heard of Envato Elements, one of our favorite sponsors for the channel because they have a super, super huge resource of creative assets ranging from templates, music files, After Effects, Premiere, the whole Adobe suite, you name it. When it comes to creating stuff, I can't recommend Envato Elements enough just because it saved us so much time here on the channel. And I don't really think that there's another service that I can quite compare that offers the expansive library of assets like Envato Elements does. So if you guys wanna check out more on that, we're gonna have a link down in the description. Make sure you guys definitely weigh this out if it's worth it or not for you. For us here, it has been a huge game changer. It helped us a lot making the video, so can't recommend it enough. Anyways, enough of the sponsored plugs. Yo, you guys, we hit 200,000 subscribers. I know this has been an amazing journey making these videos for you guys. It's such an honor that you all have decided to subscribe, stick around, and comment and engage. So I wanna wish you all a super happy Happy holidays and a happy new year. Anybody celebrating Kwan's out there? See y'all next year. <laughs> see y'all next year. Can't wait to see you in 2022. You already know how we do. Thanks for watching. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. So if you guys wanna follow us on Instagram to learn a little bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, how these videos get made, or just even like little giveaways, offers, all kinds of cool shit, go ahead, follow us at Black Mixture on Instagram, especially this holiday time. Who knows, we're gonna be doing a giveaway or even a Q&A or both of them. Those both sound pretty fun to me. How about you, babe? Does that sound fun? She said, sure. That doesn't sound too convincing.